by uh, models that uh, use, have replaced the old inflatable dolls. There are now lifelike mannequins that can be purchased on the internet. And the interesting thing about can you masturbate too much? Uh, no, you won't go blind. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, it turns out that the problem with porn in general is that what we're finding with men and women is that what happens with porn is you actually get this huge burst of dopamine and what you're actually looking for is this dopamine hit in your brain. And what happens with more and more porn, as was shown in a very famous call for, is that you have to have more and more, and you have to have more and more, for lack of a better word, erotic or kinky porn to have the same dopamine effect. And eventually, it really fails to work because you've flooded your dopamine receptors and you no longer get the hit you're looking for. So that's the danger of too much of a good thing. There's nothing, you know, obviously it's big business, but the problem is it's addictive in the same way any other addiction is addictive, is that you have to have more and more to get the same result. And that's the slippery slope. Now here's another great question. Is celibacy healthier than being sexually active? or vice versa. Uh, a few years ago, a colleague of mine who's well known in uh, health uh, suggested, uh, and he's a male, suggested that as you get older, men should stop having sex and they should stop masturbating because uh, he believes that your sperm, your semen, is your life force and that as you get older, you have to conserve your life force. And so the natural thing to do is to stop having sex and stop masturbating. Now, quite frankly, that goes against everything we know from an evolutionary perspective, particularly for men. And that is, if you are sexually active or if you are ejaculating, that tells your genes, guess what? I'm still in the business of recreating myself, of making or at least attempting to make a new copy. And from a genetic standpoint, the more you demonstrate that you're capable of doing that, the more your genes keep you around. The interesting thing is we know that sexual activity, particularly among couples, is one of the best ways to promote a healthy lifespan. Now here's the other thing that's been fascinating to me for the last 20 years, and that is listening to women in their late 70s, their early 80s, their mid 80s, their late 80s, begging me to get them some help for their husband to get an erection because they want it and they can't believe that hubby isn't willing to help out in that department. Uh, so, no, there's, I think, evolutionary. The, the deal is the more you are sexually active or 